Source Outreach Ministries, mm -hmm. and we have Minister Love Thank with you. Laku Ministries with us today, and mm -hmm. we are going to be studying this week mm -hmm. with the Spirit of Understanding. So mm -hmm. what, ooh, what do you think that's going to be about today? <laughs> so we're really looking forward to that, mm -hmm. and... Um, so let's get going. All right. Well, we we are excited just like you are to be learning about all these very various uh, spirits that's found right here in God's word. So today, as Sister Sandy just said, we're going to be talking about the spirit of understanding. Now, when we hear these words, these spirits, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom, and fear of the Lord, these are just words to a lot of people. Right. And a lot of people don't know when you say the word knowledge or understanding, do you really understand that you're just speaking a spirit? Right. That's a spirit. To understand someone, if, when you and I are conversing and you're speaking and I'm listening, when I understand what you say, that's the spirit of understanding in me that causes me to understand what you're speaking. Right. So that's how it is today. This is why we're educating. Sandy and I have came together to educate the listeners on these spirits. You want to understand your partners, you want to understand your neighbors, you want to understand your friends, your family. When you have that understanding, when you can accept people for who they are and where they are, right. that's the spirit of understanding. And we're not here to judge nobody, mm -hmm. we're here to understand what you're going through. Right. So you may be go going, under uh, going through some uh, 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 health issues, financial issues, relationship issues, but whatever you're going through, we are here to let you know we have the spirit of what? Understanding. I understand what you're going through when you're a widow. Yeah. I understand what it's like when you're homeless. I understand what it's like to be cheated on. I understand what it's like when you didn't have God in your life. That's right. That's so right. let's take this thing a little deep, Sandy. Right. So this understanding. See, once you get knowledge, when we get knowledge, once you get this word of God, see, it's not just so to have the Bible, but this knowledge, but you got to understand what's in it. That's right. And how you can use it. Right. How you can use it to Absolutely. Help Absolutely. Right. So we're going to go back again to a scripture we've been to for the last uh, three weeks. We're going <laughs> to go right back again to Isaiah because Isaiah is a prophet. prophet. Pay attention, listeners, when the prophets are speaking, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Amos, Habakkuk, those are prophets. And when they're speaking in God's word, be still and listen to what they say. Let's see what Isaiah has to say about Jesus 700 years before he came. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. Right. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom mm -hmm. and understanding the spirit of counsel mm -hmm. and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord so this is repeated mm -hmm. so much because yes. we really want you to get this mm -hmm. because once you get it then you're going to be um, so different mm -hmm. you're going to change and and your worldly life is going to change yes. because right now most people go through life uh, sort of like in a bubble or in an illusion mm -hmm. uh, they just float through and they just let uh, maybe their mate their husband tell them what to do mm -hmm. and they don't really have no um, guts or something I don't mm -hmm. know what you want to call it but they don't have that strength Mm. To to understand their self, right? That they're special, yes. Especially women. Women get mm. mocked and knocked Ugh. and beat down their whole life mm -hmm. by the other women mm -hmm. and by their mates. Mm -hmm. So they they just give up. That's why right. they give up. They just That's right. they they understand in the the negative side. But they don't understand in the positive, the positive side. That's and that's what we want to bring to those women. Right. Yeah, because once you understand that you are a child of God. Mm. And you are loved by God. Yes. So you should love yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to love yourself. That's right. Because how can you love anyone else until you love yes. yourself? Yes. And you that's love good. God. Yes. So then you could start giving it out. Mm -hmm. And then people will say, ooh. 
different savvy's different she used to be so mean and serious and quiet <laughs> right and, 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 and what is up with her she's so friendly and smiling and what loving happened? and huggy and that and this and that wow because i found the lord found because the lord. i found the lord That's and right. i found out that i'm special mm -hmm. even though i didn't think i was mm -hmm. and sometimes we read that we're not worthy yeah but we are but we are, but we are. I, i'm loving this spirit of understanding because when we take this thing deeper like you were just saying when it goes through you know relationships see when we go through certain things in our lives sometimes we go through uh, trials and tribulations and other people don't understand mm -hmm. they're not patient with us mm -hmm. they don't understand because they haven't walked where we walked right. see this is why when we're going through the valleys when we go through the mountains when we go through the hills of life things are going to take us places we've never been before mm -hmm. and so it, let's use an example let's say someone was molested at a young age you don't understand why that person is acting out at, a, at an adult you don't understand that they was molested when they was young you don't understand that they was harassed when they was young you don't understand that they was raised by a foster parent you don't understand that they went to foster home the foster home mama kicked them out daddy can you don't understand until you get the spirit of understanding right when you know when you can have empathy and compassion for what that person is going through mm -hmm. because if i can't understand what you're going through how in the world am i going to help you right and you have to take the time right you can't you can't prejudge yes. them you can't That's right say, oh that person is all grouchy mm -hmm. and mean and and i i don't want to deal with them right no you have to take a minute take a minute take a minute right and get to know them yes because yes. understanding, how can you understand if you don't know what's going on? You don't on? know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you have to. This so, is good. This, this is, is good. good. So, so we got to get the last scripture. Get we got to get one, one more scripture to the uh, ladies, to the listeners, right. men and women. We're going to go to Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 2, two verse 7. seven. Minister Love going to read that real quickly. Second Timothy 2, 7. Here we go. All right. Forgive me here. I've got it right here. Here we go. All right. Consider what I say and the Lord give the what understanding, understanding. and what all, all things. things wait a minute wait a minute right. wait a minute right you mean to tell me this spirit of understanding it don't come from man no you you don't get it from man you don't get it from your car you don't get it from your house you right. don't get it from right. your dog you right. don't get it from the cat the scripture says that this understanding comes directly from the Lord himself right. what right and it says all things. All things. So you should be able to help all, all things. All things. If all you people. Yeah, if you're going through an issue of uh, health, finances, relationship, what we said earlier, you should have understanding. That's correct. Hey, that's it right that's there. This was a good one. Today. We love you. We look forward to seeing you next week. All right. I'm Minnesota with Black Who. Sandra Hoop. from Source Outreach Ministries. Come back next week. All right. God bless. God bless.